everyone. Uh, my name is Rana Krebs. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Alga Life. Inspired with baby Austin, I have here a viv, so I hope it will be fine, but let's see. So, a bit about myself. I work more than 15 years in the fashion and textile industry as a senior designer. Uh, while I was doing this really amazing and inspiring job, I also saw behind the scene of this industry. And I found out um, many uh, information, for example, that textile is not too polluting. But for me, it was the uh, personal aspect that actually what we are eating is polluted. The water that we are drinking, the fish that we are eating, the textile that we are wearing is literally transferring to our skin and body. At that point, I truly understand that we cannot be part of the, solu of the problem. And if we, want, we do not want to be part of the solution, we definitely need to find the solution. And in the end of the day, this is what Alga Life does. Because nobody today wants to be the bad guy, right? So we are actually enabling all of the companies to be the change. So Alga Life Insight is basically that everything, just think about it, everything starts with fibers. Everything starts with fabrics. And there is the good side for it, right? We have the inspiration, we have the feel, we have the desire, we have the outcome, we have the garments, but we also have the bad side. All of the pollution and all of the processes and the chemicals and, the, what, and of course you all know uh, all of this bad side, right? Uh, so basically our mission is to really enabling and to be a force for good. We change the fabric, we change the fashion. So basically our vision is that good fashion starts with good fabrics. What does it mean good fabrics? It's about having a good ecosystem. It's really about having good fibers, good dye stuff. And the solution, the solution is algae. Good fabrics start with algae. And a bit about algae, right? So we all know algae. Uh, we know it from our, the cosmetic that we put on our faces, from the makeup, from the food that we are eating, the spirulina shakes, and so on, and of course from the algae fuel. So then we asked the question, sorry, why not to use uh, the algae for uh, textile, right? So this is exactly what we are doing. Here you can see a lab scale, but here you can see a scalable solution that can really bring a huge impact. So what do we do? Sorry. <laughs> we create dye stuff and fiber simultaneously from the raw material, the algae. We have a, a, a variety of applicable materials we can have and dye and print, cellulosic, proteins, and synthetics, and we're also customizing different kinds of fibers, cellulose-based, recycled uh, synthetics-based, and also we're now working on replacing nylon fibers. So what is the essence? The essence is that Alga Life is inside out good fabric. It's about uh, the good inside, it's from creating the fibers, and also the good outside of creating the dye stuff. So basically, we are enabling everyone to be part of the solution, and just remember that every little helps, because we are basically a hybrid company. We are enabling all parts of the supply chain to be part of this revolution and this solution. Some of them want to have a part of the dye stuff so they can have a testing of the dye stuff and they can customize the, the, their product according to their needs. Some of them want to use only fibers. Some of them want to use colored fiber. So basically we are customizing their needs and creating products around that. So in the end of the day, we want to let your consumers know what garments are made from. We are aiming, I mean, this is of course not our branding, so don't worry, this is just uh, for today. Uh, but basically our aim is really to be uh, uh, ingredient branding, like Intel Inside, for example. So everyone knows exactly what he has on his uh, body, where does it made it from, who made it, and the story behind it. So of course we also, um, on top of everything, we are reducing the water more than 80%. And of course, when we have this kind of branding, everyone they will know that they have zero chemicals, zero fertilizer, and minimum environmental footprint. In the end of the day, Alga Life is a force for good. It's good for the industry, having customizing product and creating their own innovation, creating a better uh, life for the working uh, environment, and of course, good for the consumers, 
having uh, vitamins, protein, and nourishing material that nourishing their body and skin, and of course, good for the uh, planet. But in the end of the day, it's even more important that we are, not, of course, we have a long list of creating a great impact. But in the end of the day, for us, very import, important, the prevention of the water pollution. Of course, in the end of the day, we have changed the supply chain, shorter, cleaner, and cost efficient. Uh, but one of the most important aspects for us is how we can uh, increase and how we can work with our raw material with the algae. So basically, we are transforming the textile from the chemicals and the hazards to a positive textile, which means that we're using all the vitamins and the minerals and the materials like antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and actually using it for the end consumers. And also, uh, I forgot to mention, we can also customize it, which means that if we get a company that wants to create a socks with anti inflammatory and antibacterial, for example, in one thing. We, if you want to have a hosiery with vitamin E, this is again a customization process that we are doing with the companies together. Uh, really on a glance about the market size, we're talking and focusing on uh, second skin garments, which mean $293 billion, focusing on uh, underwear, athleisure wear, sportwear, basically everything you can think of that touches our skin and body. Women's wear, men's wear, kids and babies, of course. But this is for today. Of course, we're going uh, to expand for uh, outerwear, for denim, for example. But even outside the, the fashion industry, we have more segments like bed sheets and towels, and also for the automotive and the hygiene and pharma. Uh, yeah. So in the end of the day, uh, sorry, yeah. No, it's this one. Okay. And it's here it looks like. So in the end of the day, our values are, it's really about creation. It's about the force for good. I'm sorry. Uh, and also, of course, the impact that we're doing. But in the end of the day, it's also about uh, to be uh, a fashion lovers. But what it means, not just to actually love to buy clothes, but really to understand how algae life is enabling the textile industry uh, to be part of the sustainable solution. In the end of the day, by unlocking uh, the power of nature uh, and creating inside out algae fabrics as a force for good, we want to have a, really have a chance to do good together for good. Uh, here you can see uh, some award, and of course, we are also part of this amazing fashion for good. Uh, but more important of all the projects we won for us was important the traction that we got. Uh, because we got such a huge and amazing traction for us and it gave us huge exposure and actually now we're having a variety of pilots this year to really uh, towards a scalable uh, for 2021 in the stores. Yeah, so but of course nothing would have happened uh, Sorry, if we do not have a really an amazing uh, team coming from completely different kind of disciplines which enable us to create this revolutionary product. In the end of the day, I definitely want you all, yes, I know you're right, last sentence and I'm there. So what I want you all to remember in the end of the day, that uh, good fashion uh, starts with inside out good fabric. And good fabric starts with algae. I'm sorry, we can chat later on. <laughs> Thank you.